Nature Journal retracts article on speed of ocean heat uptake due to systematic errors in it. This is on Sputnik News, the paper published last year. It made headlines worldwide as it stated that the ocean was absorbing 60% more heat than previously thought, potentially impacting global warming. But as one mathematician proved, there were serious but surely inadvertent errors in the underlying calculations in that article. One of the world's most respected scientific journals, Nature, has asked researchers to retract an article on ocean warming and its link to changes in atmospheric oxygen and carbon dioxide, O2 and CO2 composition, citing systematic errors in the study almost a year after it was initially published. The scientific team pointed to the conclusion by mathematician and persistent critic of climate models, Nicholas Lewis, who was the first one to raise doubts that the findings of the study could be supported because of what he described as serious but surely inadvertent errors in the underlying calculations that define the amount of uncertainty. Quote, we realized that our reported uncertainties were underestimated owing to our treatment of certain systematic errors as random errors. In addition, we became aware of several smaller issues in our analysis of uncertainty. This is what the authors of the study, led by Princeton University professor Laura Lasplandi, stated in a retraction note. They explained that even though they corrected the paper, which did not substantially change the central estimate of ocean warming, they also acknowledged that uh, it weakened up implications for an upward revision of ocean warming and climate sensitivity. But they still insisted that their method remains valid and promised to publish the revised paper with corrected uncertainties in another journal. Shortly after the paper was published, it prompted alarmed reactions in the international media who distributed the worrying results of the study in question, stating that the world ocean was absorbing 60% more heat than was earlier estimated by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC. This would impact the way our climate is changing and our planet is warming. Rasplandi and her colleagues used a new method and assessed the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They decided to use the data to measure ocean temperatures globally from 1991 until today based on the fact that the warmer the sea gets, the more carbon dioxide and oxygen it releases into the air. Quote, when the ocean warms, the amount of these gases in the ocean is able to hold, goes down. So what we measured was the amount lost by the oceans, and then we can calculate how much warming we need to explain that change in gases. This is what Dr. Lori Risplandi explained at the time. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.